today we're going to learn how to do a Facebook ad. So once you get into command, come over here and make sure you are connected to your Facebook account by going into settings. You just got to click that little thing right there, little arrow, click settings. It will bring you into the page where you've got all your different apps that you can connect with. And as you can see, I'm connected with DocuSign, Facebook, Google Calendar, Google Mail. Right here I'll probably say, um, account not connected or something in that effect or connect account go ahead and make sure you got an account in there then we're going to go back and we are going to try and there we go go into campaigns as you can see, I did a really great campaign the last time I did one and was able to get 18 leads from that one campaign right there. It's nothing extravagant. 2-2 on West Beach, your vacation home awaits. I don't even think that's good punctuation and capitalization even, but I got it. So let's check this out. How did I get this? to happen, spend only this, and get this to happen. Well, let's go. Well, first of all, we're going to create a new campaign. We're going to do a paid one, a social media ad. Now, this can only be done with your Facebook business page. Let's advertise a listing. Hello. Oh, there you go. On Facebook. Set up campaign. I've only done this a couple of times, so y'all bear with me. Let's see. Sunday. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with a property I found. And you just start typing in the listings. Oh, yeah. Right here, you see nothing's popping up because it says only my listings. I need to show all listings because I don't have any. So I can't pull any up if I'm only going into mine. So go over here, do all listings. This will think forever, apparently. Reminding me of dial up all of a sudden. Ah, there we go. East Beach. Provide search. And let's do this one right here. All right, looks good, doesn't it? Hmm, I'm gonna do the main copy right there because I'm really not very imaginative, so I'm gonna go with what they got. Headline, second home awaits. Awaits. Your beach home. How about that? How you beach your beach home awaits. And then you could be here right now. You kind of probably want more most of the wording right up here that you're gonna come into because people probably won't read every last little piece so put some great content here something catchy that's in the bold for the headline and a small description save ad and text done we're going to make it a facebook ad so you saw where our goal was we had a name and a goal advertise a listing sunday ad we picked a listing 
we got our text. We're going to do images. And we're going to go through Facebook. So I am going to choose the Stacy Burgess, Carol Williams, Alabama Gulf Coast. I'm going to use the Facebook lead generation form specific. What this is, is when they click on learn more, their name, number, and at email will auto populate into a lead questionnaire and they will submit it so they can see the condo. Okay. Um, so learn more. Looks like the best option. And then you always want to do a follow up um, email. You want this to be something once they click on it. You want to send them to your own personal email. So how I usually do that is making sure yeah, it probably would help to know what unit that is when you think it's number 23 so i'm going to go to my personal website i'm going to look up that property on my website i'm going to copy control c or highlight and right click to copy go over here right click to paste and if you're like me you always end up putting the http in there twice so go back and delete that part of it and use that okay now we're going to do the furthest radius i believe you can do is 20. now somebody i said i saw red somewhere said i needed to do a minimum where my gut instinct says to go 30 miles because I'm trying to find people in a different place than Gulf Shores. Um, and then I don't know who all I'd be getting. I'm going to do a little bit more. I know they said less was more, but I'm going to go do 50 miles. I'm going to add. So this will target and make an ad about targeting people in Gulf Shores, Alabama, and a 50-mile radius from Gulf Shores. This will come up in their newsfeed as a sponsored ad, okay? And how do we get into people very specifically? Let's select interests of, like, people that get on Zillow, okay? Let's choose people that are investors. Mm, let's do real estate. Estate investing. Or real estate investing. And save those selections. So that looks like we'll have an estimated audience of being able to get around. We won't get around that many people, but it looks like a lot of exposure to me. So now I'm going to save that Facebook ad. If you want to go over it again. We're putting it on my business page. It is going to be a Facebook lead generation form. Learn more. My website. Target a custom audience, which I'm going to go to Gulf Shores, Alabama, in a 50 mile radius. I'm going to target people that are looking on Zillow and real estate investing. I'm going to save that ad. And I don't like to spend a lot of money, so I am going to do a budget of $10. Let's see. So I'm going to give a dollar a day, and I'm actually not going to do that for a whole 10 days. I'm going to do it for through next Sunday, so for six days. And let me see what I end up getting. Publish my campaign. They're going to ask me if that's the card I want to charge it on. Create it. And now it's thinking.
Now, this is the thing. This is going to be a sponsored ad that's going to pop up in front of people's news feeds. It does not automatically place itself as an ad on your Facebook page. It comes from commanding your Facebook page out into the Facebook world on those algorithms. So don't expect to see that immediately. Now, it's going to pin review and it will probably approve it tomorrow, starts tomorrow and it'll run for six days. To kind of give you an example, refresh. And as you can see, it's not posted on my business page. As a matter of fact, my business page is so pitiful. I only have one like. That didn't keep me from getting 18 leads for 55 cents a lead over the last 10 days. Just saying. What you focus on in it does expand. All right, guys. I'd love to see how y'all's are doing. Why don't you post what you've done on, on the comments of this video? And I will continue to do looms ever so often. Let me know what you'd like me to do a video of next. Thanks. Bye.